Hello, my name is Craig Johnson. I'm the manager of the James J. Hill House located on St. Paul's historic Summit Avenue. The Hill House was completed in 1891 and was the family home for James J. Hill, who was the builder of the Great Northern Railway, his wife Mary T. Hill, and a very large family. The Hills lived here for about 30 years from 1891 to 1921 after which it was given to the Archdiocese of St. Paul and the church used it for many years but nowadays it's a National Historic Landmark and is open for tours Wednesday through Sunday year-round. So tours have a chance to uh, explore throughout four floors of this house and find out what life was like in the Gilded Age, not just for Mr. and Mrs. Hill and their children but the people who came to visit them or the servants who worked here. Pursuing a broad range of business interests, including coal, iron ore mining, shipping, banking, and finance, James J. Hill amassed a personal fortune that was estimated at $63 million. The main structure of the house is built of bricks, with an outer layer of red sandstone, completing the Romanesque style intended. The front entryway boasts an elaborate portico for arriving guests to be sheltered from the elements. Sitting on the bluff overlooking the Mississippi River, you can imagine how spectacular the view was when the home was built. The basement level is visible from the bluff side, making it seem as if a secret level has been discovered. After being greeted by the reception staff, you enter the music room on the northeast side of the residence. Large, hand-painted portraits of James J. and his wife Mary grace both sides of the entrance to the main hall. A sophisticated security system, central heating, gas, and electric lighting, plumbing, and ventilation made the Hill Mansion ahead of its time. All 22 fireplaces were gas lit, an extraordinary fate at the time. The guest book boasts visitors from around the world who have come to see this ornate St. Paul residence. Here you can see staff members cleaning and caring for the many chandeliers that adorn the home. A grand chandelier, hand carved woodwork, and richly detailed gessoed ceiling grace the drawing room, located directly across the hall from the music room. Enter the three-story, skylit art gallery that is used for museum exhibits today. A large mechanical canopy protects the art, demonstrating James J. Hill's obsessive attention to detail. Once inside the art gallery, all you have to do is turn around and you'll see a pipe organ house on the second floor balcony overlooking the gallery. Before it was automated, a servant in the basement would hand pump the bellows from below. At the opposite end of the art gallery is the unique fireplace. On careful inspection, you can find the woodcarver's initials carved into the mantel surround. The fireplace front has a tiled mosaic that brings the visitor's eye to the floor, where it continues on the hearth. If you stoop down, you will find a huge portrait of a lion in bass relief adorning the back of the fireplace. James J. Hill's office was located on the northwest side of the home, facing Summit Avenue. Small in comparison to the other rooms on the first floor, you continue to feel the opulence in the richly carved mahogany fireplace, ornate sconces, and leather-bound books. On the west side of the first floor, you will enter the third most expensive room, the dining room. In the center of the room is a massive mahogany table with 16 carved chairs that the Hill family used often when entertaining. 24 karat gold lines the coffered ceiling. Hand-tooled leather lines the walls above the carved mahogany wainscot. On closer inspection, you can find a hand-carved Star of David amongst the other carvings. The Star of David is the button that opens a secret vault installed by James J. to house the elaborate silver collection owned by the family. The main hall, 100 feet long and 15 feet wide, is lined with matching chandeliers and trimmed in elaborately carved oak. Unique winged serpents wrap around the sconces that add additional light to this grand area of the home. Stained glass windows on doors leading to the back terrace illuminate the area with natural incandescent light. To view the breathtaking grandeur of this historic residence and experience how families lived during the height of the Victorian era, come visit the James J. Hill home and see for yourself. You can't help but feel you have stepped into a different era, an era where anything was possible.
So I hope you might have a chance to come over and visit us here at 240 Summit Avenue in St. Paul. For more information, you can call us at 651-297-2555 or find out more on our website, mnhs.org slash hillhouse.